So yeah, I got an impression after reading some comments that since I'm a Jew I need to think certain way, I need to defend certain group of people, I need to be like them, whether it's right or wrong. I just need to present the interest of all the Jews because I'm a Jew. Well, first of all, I'm not fully Jewish, I'm 75% Jewish, so you cannot call me complete Jew. Because to me, if you want to be called Jew, you have to have 100% of Jewish blood. If you have anything else, then you are not a Jew. You are a certain percent of a Jew. Okay? That's the way I believe in it. Because genetically, I'm not fully Jewish. Genetically, I'm mixed. The same thing with black people, you know? If, let's say, you had a white person in your ancestry, you're not going to be completely black. Yes, people call you black, but you're not black unless you're 100% black. If you have some white and bread, it can be seen. And I know that, my dear anti-Semites, you don't want to look at me and you don't want to, like, look at my face and find out a couple of features of me which I have which are not Jewish. And I can tell you what are these features. First of all, I, I don't have a hairy chest. Second of all, I have typical Russian smile. So I need to smile more to look more Russian. Then I have Russian skulls. People told me that and I can see it. Like, I looked at some Russian people like Kinchev, you know, and I can see like their form of their head is kind of Slavic a little bit. Now I will tell you what I have Jewish. Jewish eyes, Jewish hair, Jewish nose. There is much more in my face which is Jewish rather than Russian. But hey, I'm 75% Jewish, not Russian, that's why. But it's still you cannot ignore my Russian embedding. Now, MAP 0100 said, you know what, you Jew, enough said. We kicked your, you out of Russia and we're gonna do it again. You know what, fuck you. And if you watch this video, I'm gonna send it to you specifically so you see my middle finger. Because I'm pissed off with your fucking ignorance. Because if you're saying I kicked you out, you kicked me out of my ancestors, it means you kicked out my grandfather who was not a Jew out of his own country. Because my ancestors, it all goes there. Jewish ancestors and not Jewish ancestors. So if you say I kicked you out, it means you kicked out my, my grandfather who was Russian. Because he was my ancestor too. So basically you kicked out 75% of my Jewish ancestry, but you kicked out 25% of my Russian ancestry as well. So basically you deny not only Jews, but the Russians people because of my ancestry, their own land. I'm not, I'm not mentioning that by denying my own, me my own land where I grew up and lived for 20 years, it's a fucking bullshit. You fucking deny my Russian ancestors their own land. And that's basically being self-hating Russian, okay? Think about that, dear Map Zero 100, before you make this kind of stupid statement. Count for everything. And if you say, oh, you're a Jew because you don't have Russian mentality, you know what? Don't fucking judge me. I have mentality, I think like this, okay? I have mentality, I have logical mentality. In my mentality, if you're not 100% Jewish, it means you're not Jew, it means you're mixed. And this is who I can see myself, mixed, okay? You have to have pure Jewish blood to be a Jew. And if you say kick people out, you, I kick you out. First of all, me is not my relatives, my ancestors. My ancestors live in Russia, they follow Judaism, they're all religious, they were having beards, they were having paces, they were praying all the time, they're following Judaism. Look at me. Yes, I look mostly like Semites. I don't have no fucking shit right here, I have short hair, I have no beard, I don't follow Judaism, I take it I'm atheist and I'm screaming on top of my lines, fuck religion. I grew up in a house called I didn't keep kosher. My mom was eating pork and telling me not to eat and I was getting pissed off like why the fuck I cannot eat pork. Think about it, I'm fucking half as Jew. And even though I look like a Jew because my mom got me with a Jewish man, it doesn't mean that I'm Jew spiritually. And I didn't grow up like a Jew either. I grew up, I'm the only child with a single mom. Jewish people were growing up in a big families with a religion. And they were keeping their family tradition. Did I? No, I did. Okay? That's already like culture and 25% Jewish, ethnically 75. So who am I Jewish? Like what? 
an average 50% Jewish. If you take the mean out of it, what? How Jewish am I 50%? And I even took the test, how Jewish am I? And then it was written that I'm trying to be Jewish, but I'm probably not Jew. This is what I did when I took the test. And after those Jews, you know, they're particular about it. When they ask you how Jewish you are, they ask you, what have you been in Israel? What did you like? What you didn't like? Did you live with the Jews? And if I, in the answer, the man said, they said, well, you don't have no like connection with Jewish people. That's how fucking Jewish am I. And then people say, ha ha, stupid Jew, saying he's Russian. Well, I lived in Russia for 20 years. I grew up in Russia. I was born and raised in Russia. I can go to the Russian people as well as half as Jewish people. Uh, the reason I say half as Jewish people because they have Jewish ancestry, but they were not religious to Jews, they were like me. And when I'm here in America, I have the same crowd. My friends are non-religious Jews who don't give a fuck about Judaism, who are like 50%, 25% Jews. Some of them are Iraqis. I have Iraqi friends, I have Venezuelan friends. I don't have that many friends. But when I was in Russia, the same thing. I have 50, 50, 50 Jewish, 50 Russian, quarter Jewish, 75% Russian, Russians. You know, that's kind of friends I have, that's who I am. So if you're calling me a Jew, you're a fucking idiot. I'm Jewish descent, I'm mostly Jewish, but I'm not quite Jewish. And in that respect, I agree with Russians, because Russian people are smart. They say, you know, you're Russian, if you're Russian by blood, and you have Russian mentality. And Jewish people don't count it like that. They count it by stupid Galach. If you're Galachically Jewish, if your mom is Jewish, you're a Jew. And you know what? I agree with Russians more. I have Russian mentality more because it makes sense. If you're Russian by blood, if you're Russian by mentality, then you're Russian. And it's not just mom. It's just the way you think and things like that. And I agree with that. If you're Jew, you have to have Jewish mentality, not just Jewish race. And if you have a Jew, if you don't know anything about Judaism, even if you look Semitic, you're still not a real Jew. You're still a fake Jew. And a couple of generations down the line, you will assimilate. Because religion, this is what keeps Judaism alive. And if you're not Jewish, if you like Semite who say fuck Judaism, fuck religion, fuck everything, then it's okay for you to assimilate. There's nothing wrong with it. And nobody should be upset about it because Jewish is just one thing, you know. Being upset for whether you're Jewish or not is the same thing as being upset that, you know what, oh, I'm so sorry, I have black eyes. I have a black hair. I wish I would have a white hair. <laughs> I wish I would have a blue eyes. <laughs> the same thing, being upset for being Jew or non-Jew, your kids, you know. It's just plain retarded. Besides, Judaism is, is not about race, it's about religion. And why it should be so focused on race? It's just bullshit. But confusion is, confusion is the following. For anti-Semites, Anti-Semites don't care whether you're religious or Jewish or not. If you look like a Jew, even if you're atheist and you say fuck religion, for them you're a Jew. But for Jewish people, for rabbis, you're not like them either. So Jewish people kind of got confused. And that's how they got person like me, who look like a Semite, who look Jewish, but yet he doesn't want to follow Judaism, he wants to be an atheist, and he thinks that being Jew is a slave mentality. Sure I do, because I saw a lot of people who like Jewish marry not Jewish, I saw a lot of black marry whites, and I'm thinking like, why should I marry Jewish, why should I believe Galaka if everything what I see in this world doesn't satisfy Galakic requirements. I see people doing all sorts of things. I see Galakically Jews say I'm not Jewish. I see a uh, non-Jewish woman converting to Judaism and being more Jewish than me. I see black Mary White, I see everything. So after seeing the things the way they are, I'm thinking like, why the fuck should I believe all the fucking stupid slave mentality of Jewish thinking when it's not even true? And I can see it's not true. So why should I believe something which is not true? And why should I restrict myself only for one race of people? They're just slave mentality. When I talk about slave mentality, this is what I'm talking about. Okay? Got my point? Good. If you don't, well, 
I don't know. I'm trying my best to explain you things, to educate you things, to say what I think. If you still think that I'm an arrogant person who tries to please the goyim, well, you may think so. But I'm just saying what I really think. And I stand for it. So now goyim, Russians, whatever, let me know, leave a comment if I have Russian mentality, Jews. Let me know and tell me whether you think I'm anti-Semitic or not and whether I'm Jewish or not, and, you know, and all anti-Semites also, let me know how Jewish am I too, I'm really curious. And let me know if I'm stupid for calling myself Russian, with me growing up in St. Petersburg, Russia, and killing 25% of Russian blood. Just let me know, people. Because I think that not, I'm an ignorant imbecile, I know what I'm talking about. I think that you guys are. And I stand for it. And if you need more explanations, let me know. I will make another video. I have time and desire for it. And if you have other sources, bring it up. Bring me some material and show me where I'm wrong with where I'm standing. I will read it. I will let you know what I think. Peace out.